ja sitten huomisen sää. Suurimmassa osassa maata sää on aurinkoista ja paikoin puolipilvistä. Päivän ylilämpötila vaihtelee 15 asteen ja 20 asteen välillä. Yön alin lämpötila nollan vaiheella. Säätiedotus merenkulkijoille. Korkea paine, joka ulottuu Venäjältä Suomeen, pysyy paikallaan. Odotettavissa omissa aamuun asti eri tuulta 1-4 metriä sekunnissa. Hyvä näkyvyys. Hi, welcome to Road to Vostok Public Demo 1 version 2. This demo version is an update to the Public Demo 1 and extra milestone to watch the big Public Demo 2 this fall. The purpose of this video is to briefly go through some of my thoughts about the progress of the project and what this demo update contains. Let's start by going back 6 months. Last fall I released the Public Demo 1 which was the first milestone for this game. That small demo was released on schedule and the response from that was really positive. There were more than 300,000 players who tried that first demo. Thanks to everyone who tested it and provided important feedback. I read all the comments, analyzed the feedback forms and watched hundreds of playtest videos in order to get a really good understanding of what were the most important development targets towards the next milestone. The conclusion from this feedback was that there were three main core mechanics that needed significant improvements. These were shooting, looting and AI. The AI is still pretty much untouched, but I'm starting to shift development focus towards that now, so in this video I want to talk mostly about shooting and looting. Let's quickly go through the pain points of these two, and how they were updated to this Public Demo 1 version 2. The shooting experience in Public Demo 1 wasn't that satisfying, weapons and arm models were just static objects, weapon audio was pretty mediocre, and most importantly, the recall was unrealistic and sometimes even nauseating in terms of too much camera shake. I also think that there is this certain level of FPS quality that many people are used to thanks to awesome games like Escape from Tarkov and I see this as a good thing. Games like these motivate us to improve our FPS mechanics and set higher quality goals towards weapons and shooting in video games. So here's the weapon improvements that were made for Road to Vostok. Weapons are no longer just static objects, they are modular and there's new FPS arms that support inverse kinematics, which should provide much more natural and dynamic weapon handling. On top of this, the first iteration of the attachment system is also in place, there's additional optic settings, new weapon textures and updated weapon inspection UI. Then all the weapon audio was reworked. I hired a professional audio designer and we designed this specific weapon audio workflow for this game which is based on separate weapon fire, tail and reverb audio elements. Over 200 unique weapon audio files were added to the game and this should greatly improve that shooting experience. In terms of recoil, I went through three different recoil systems and tested multiple different iterations to try to find that sweet spot between realism and fun. Now the current recoil system is based on more realistic pivot points, mouse compensation and the camera shake is greatly reduced. Then there was looting. The initial inventory solution was confusing, slow to use and quite frankly visually boring. There wasn't any quick fix to this problem, so I decided to rework this whole system and now there's a modern multi-tile inventory system with much better item icons. This new inventory system supports all kinds of useful features like item transfer, item rotation, item swapping, hover tooltips and in terms of visuals it should look more intuitive and compelling. This inventory system is also now linked to the updated equipment system and character preview which will play a major role in the upcoming public demo too. These were the main improvements for the core mechanics, but there's also a lot more new features that are included in this public demo 1 version 2, so let's go quickly through them. There's now winter options for the game world, village map has been expanded, water system has been added, you can now climb ladders, Indoor areas have ambient and reverb zones. NVG filter has been added for the night time. Variable optics, also known as LPVOs, have been implemented. Terrain and nature shaders have been improved. And then there's new demo settings like support for left-handed weapon rigs, inverted mouse and so on. 
I must mention that there are some features that I decided to deactivate for this demo, like swimming and fishing because they still need some polishing, and the village map expansion was slightly reduced in order to start focusing more towards the AI. In general, I'm still really happy with the progress, and the project is well on schedule towards the next milestone, Public Demo 2, this fall. This Public Demo 1 version 2 update is now available on Steam for free, and I'm really excited to hear your feedback. Even though the main demo content is mostly the same, the so-called game feel should be much better now. Lastly, I want to mention that many of these updates were made possible by Patreon, which gives me the possibility to work full-time on this project and hire possible contractors to key areas of the development. I share exclusive content on Patreon multiple times a week, and it's the best way to support this project and me as a developer. If you feel like that I'm doing a good job, and you want to get behind the scenes access for this game, you can find that Patreon page over at patreon.com slash road to Vostok. Thank you for watching, have fun testing the demo update, and see you in the next video.